Okay, so uh, welcome back to Cornerstone's YouTube channel. Uh, this is the start of a new series, could be a controversial series. I think it's going to be perhaps the series which gets the most views, because I think it's got the best, the best Hopefully. topics, right? So we're going to start our, our money episodes. We're going to talk about money and recruitment, money that people make. Uh, the first episode is, how does it feel to make $80,000 commission in three months? This ball is crushed. And that's what uh, Joseph Coa did in our business in the first three months of this year. Yeah. Um, I think it's, an, it's nice for you to actually get to see someone talk about the money they've earned and how they did it. And also how that affects your life. You know, I think we have to be real. You know, recruitment is a sales job. So lots of people enter the recruitment industry because they want to get wealthy, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we totally embrace i think that decision and that lifestyle and you know that's one of the reasons why we fell in love with recruitment is because we can aspire to live a better life you know with better standards of life uh, more you know financial freedom and financial independence that's it so you're going to get to hear now from joseph himself so you know obviously if you are a, a client or a candidate and you want to work with one of the top recruiters in town or if you are a potential gold digger yeah and then, when I make some money, yeah. you know, Please Cornerstone is the place to be reach, for you guys. Reach out to Joseph, he'll, uh, he'll sort you out. <laughs> now, one of the best feelings is when you actually see the benefits and the rewards of all the hard work that you've been doing. Uh, I joined Cornerstone, basically, Maddie and I established the HR team here. Uh, we put our foot down, worked very hard, uh, met a lot of candidates, met a lot of clients. Uh, we had a specific target that we needed to reach. Uh, Medi sat me down, we created our own target, which was much higher than the company target and basically smashed it, really smashed it. Basically smashed it. Arranging or preparing my schedule for the week. So the technical training I received was how to properly arrange your time. Uh, time that you give your clients, time that you give to your candidates, uh, time that you actually go out and meet these people. Uh, all this training, uh, plus the technical training on how to speak to senior people, creates some sort of like confidence, which allows you to probably fill very executive positions, uh, which I did in order to get the bonus. Good question. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> um, do you know Rapongi? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, first of all, I guess it's remembering the people who are closer to you. So parents, uh, buying something for the parents, the uncles, my closest friends. Uh, my work colleagues who we go out drinking a lot, uh, opening a bottle of champagne, uh, smoking a bit of cigars. Uh, most importantly, investing the money and working hard to make more, of course. Uh, basically, work very, very hard. Uh, it might get a bit comfortable once you start making a lot of money and you feel that this is going to come every single time. Uh, I would say just realize when you need to step on the gas pedal, work those long hours if you have to, uh, meet as many people, meeting as equals well money, uh, meet as many CEOs, hiring managers, HR directors, get to know the market, get to know everybody around you, and eventually it will all come out. You start making the money, business will start coming to you, and of course, you'll become successful. Three songs that would motivate me. So I would say Hustle and Motivate, Nipsey Hustle. Uh, Win by J-Rock and Forever, Kanye, Drake, Eminem. 